and submit yourself. Yeah. For they watch yes. over your soul. Yes. As they talking about the ruler that must give account. See, he had to give account too. Yes. That they may do it with joy. Yes. And not with grief. Mm. For that is improbable for you. Yes, sir. I want to talk from this. And I want you to repeat after me. Instructions. Instructions. For the believer. For the believer. And the leader. And the leader. These are some instructions for the believer and the leader. Jim Jones murdered over 800 followers by ordering them to drink poison Kool-Aid. Uh -huh. Jim Jones preached from the Bible. Jim Jones was their leader. Those 800 people, most of them drunk the poison, being obedient to the one who ruled over them. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not the kind of obedience that the writer of Hebrews is speaking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The writer was speaking of obeying the one that God has called yeah, yeah. into leadership well. to rule over his people. God called. Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 11 says that he called some apostles. Uh, some pastors. Some. Yeah. some God called them. Yes, he did. There's a certain way that you have to rule when you're ruling God's people. First yeah. mm. Peter 5 and 1 and 2, you, it, it, it talks about don't rule by constraint. Yeah. In other words, don't rule with an iron fist. Because yeah. you're dealing with God's people. Yeah. Yeah. The text is speaking of a dedicated minister. Hmm. The text is speaking of a, of a dedicated shepherd or pastor that ministers the word of God. Yes, sir. And exemplifies that God has given yes. him authority to rule over his people. Well, yeah. God gives you that authority. Yes. Yes. I can remember I was challenged with the most difficult time of my pastoral Yes, sir. Sometimes you, you have conflict in the church and then there's conflict at your home. Yeah. Conflict in your family. Yeah. Right? Jesus. But this particular time was one time that I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Usually when I pray, God would give me an answer. Mm. Usually when I battle with something for a while, God would reveal to me what to do about the situation in the church. But in this particular situation, God was silent. Uh -huh. Well, all it was, the Lord spoke to me. He told me, he said, you him. Uh -huh. Jesus. He said, you him. Uh -huh. Then he says to me, but handle it like I taught you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, handle it with love. Yeah. Handle it with time. Yeah. Handle it with care. Yeah. That's the way God ministers. God's minister is. Yeah. Doesn't rule by restraint. He doesn't rule with an iron fist, but he rules with love. Yeah. He rule, rules with care. Yeah. Listen. This state 
that in the case, in this text, there, there must be someone who was disobeyed. Somewhere now, I read that. And the writer was saying, obey. So that indicates to me that somebody would disobey. Yes. Yes. And, and, and when I got to looking into the text, I, 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 I discovered that it wasn't so much of the people just being really disobedient. The pastor was trying to give guidance, or the writer was giving guidance on a father people concerning false doctrine. Mm. But then I took a look back in, uh, 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 that was part of it. Mm -hmm. Then I looked back in Hebrew 10, 25, uh, 10, it was uh, 25, I believe, it was telling them, forsake us not yeah. mm. to assemble yourself. Yes. Together. Well. Then, 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 then the next verse said, as some have. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so, so somebody wasn't coming to church. <laughs> well, and, 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 and well, he wasn't ruling with an iron fist, but he was concerned of why you stayed at home. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and then he said, "Listen to all these strange voices, yeah. because they were listening to these strange voices. False doctrine was going out. Anytime you hear a strange voice, it's false." Mm. Jesus. It's a voice that's not biblical. Right. Yeah. Strange voices. They were they were saying there's certain things that you can eat. Right. Yeah. Would draw you closer to God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You, you, you need people come up with all kinds of bad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of religion. Yeah. All kinds of voice. Yeah. But you have to know. Oh, the leader has to know the voice of God. Yes. I told this in our district. I believe I was in Ruston. While the people in, in uh, over over in uh, 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 Israel, they have shepherds. They put these shepherds and they got sheep, a thousand of sheep, out in the field. Some of these shepherds, they would come and they, they would start calling the sheep. Some of them would get up and call their sheep and say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And every sheep that knew that voice would come to that shepherd. All of them out in the field. Then, 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 then the next one would come up. Hey, 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 hey. All of his sheep would come. They knew the voice of that shepherd. Mm. That's what he was telling them in this text, the writer of all. Say, oh, they did. Y'all want to preach with me? Oh, they them that have rule over you. Well. Yeah. Not rule over, well, I don't want to throw it in your church, but any other church. Yeah. <laughs> but you got a pastor right here in Triumph Church, Jonesboro, Texas. Obey him that had ruled over. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm not talking about you all. I'm talking about the folks out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. they have been chasing. They have been chasing. They have been losing. They have their own breach. Road. They on your street, too. Huh? Well, they on your street, too. Listen, I don't know why it is that our uh, little folks out there <laughs> would go out and get a listen to someone else and come back in here and try to instruct you. Well, Obey thee that had ruled over you. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go somewhere else and get information and bring back to the one that got ruled over you and try to instruct him yeah, yeah. or her, when you should obey them, yeah. there's 
y'all hear me preach? So he was telling them. Don't listen to all these strange voices. That's what's wrong. Some of them folks out there. I, I, baby, ain't no sense in coming to church. Yeah. Mm. yeah strange boys. Yes. When it's time out for church. Strange boys. Yes. You're going to hear the same thing. Why do I need to come to church to hear the same old thing? Strange boys. What he's saying is don't listen. The old strange boys. You know one reason the preacher keeps saying the same thing? Because you ain't here the first time. Come on, help me now. You been talking to me. Talk to me. You know the reason the preacher keeps saying the same thing? Because they ain't listening to the first thing. That's why. Right. Talk about them folks out there. So, so, so they have to, he has to keep repeating this. Don't forsaken to assemble yourself together. Come to church. It's a benefit in serving God. Yes, God. I, I don't care if you do hear the same thing over. When you walk out of that door, you have a different feeling on you. Are you sure? Then you need it when you come in. The writer saying, Obey them that have rule over you. And submit yourself. Listen to this. But they watch over your soul. Jesus. Listen. They watch over your soul. Hmm. Now listen, y'all. I heard Jasper with you yesterday. I ain't gonna tell you nothing, Jasper said. <laughs> this just happened to come up when Jasper was talking about the soul. So obey them that have rule over you. For they watch for your soul. They watch for your soul. Look up here. What you see? You see a tall man? Used to be about six four. But I'm a strong son. I'm probably about six two, six three and a half now. <laughs> But you're looking at a man in a black suit, black clergy. You can see my shoes, black shoes. And look at my hand. Look at my face. Look at my eye. Huh? What you see is the outside of me. Yeah. Oh. All you see is what's on the outside. But there's another person on the inside. It's a part of me that you, you don't see. It's a part of me that, 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 that the doctor can't see. If sickness is there, it's a part of me that the lawyer can't get out of trouble. It's a part of me that the doctor can't heal. So, go back and take an x-ray of my soul. Well... Well, no. I might be sick, but it might be sin sick. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no prescriptive for that. <laughs> God has to fix that. Yeah. Jesus. God has to heal the soul. Yeah. God has to knock on the soul. Yeah. And when God knocks us on the soul, yeah. the soul have a way. Yeah. Making the body feel yeah. Temple. It was so. It was so with that lame man when Jesus came to him. Said, "Get up and walk." Yes. He'd been laying down there, but something on the inside got on the inside. Oh, that man he got up. Watch 
over your soul. Yes. God told Ezekiel that he made him a watchman. Yes. Yes, sir. Told him he made him a watchman yes. over the household of Israel. Yes. Shepherd watches over your soul. Yes. You got to be obedient. Yes. 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 We can't force you to do anything. <laughs> You know the difference between a sheep and a human being? <laughs> you, can, you can make a sheep act right. <laughs> Come on. Well. <laughs> if you're a shepherd out there now, that, that sheep go astray, you can go get him. <laughs> they say the shepherd will break his leg if they keep running too bad. <laughs> But, but, but that's a sheep. You, you can't do a human being that way. Huh? You, you, you can't force them to do anything. You have to put them in the hands of God. God knows. He knows how to fix them. He knows how to send things your way. He knows how to set the captain free. Yes, sir. So obey them that have rule over you. Because they watch over your soul. I'm talking about the end part. Huh? You can dress up the out part. But sometimes the inside ain't right. When your inside is right, the people are get.
Hear what Paul said. Next thing Paul, Paul said, referring to the Philippians, he says, you are my joy uh, in my crown. That must have been a good church yeah. Let me look at that again. It says that they may do it with joy. Talk about the leader now. And not with grief. Paul had a good church. Had a good church in Philippi. But those Corinthians gave Paul some double A. Yeah. 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 Now let me know. You're going to have to have some joy. But there's going to be some greed mixing that cup. Joy, God is able. The enemy, the 
up and walk around every one of us. The enemy don't want to see any of us make it. The enemy is out to destroy. He's out to destroy the preacher. He's out to destroy the pastor. He's out to destroy the bishop. And I heard 